When you're out and about in London, you're bound to be reminded, especially in Bloomsbury, of its association with Charles Dickens. And there are modern curiosities as well, within the quiet precincts of Lincoln's Inn, where, for the most part, the legal luminaries foregather in a serene setting of gates and gardens. London's central district was once its wealthiest, but the glitter of gold has given way to another Iron Age with screens and railings in infinite variety, some of them beautifully spiked. The railings and the spikes help to protect the ducal property. Those same railings encompass Bloomsbury's many squares, of which Russell, Bedford and Bloomsbury are perhaps the best known. And within the squares are old world gardens and houses which in the days of the Georges were impressive mansions. And there are no fewer than six hospitals, among them the Foundling Hospital founded in 1739. The foundlings were deposited at the big gate. The Iron Age of Bloomsbury has yielded in turn to the demands of war. The iron that decorated is becoming the iron that destroys. It was in Doughty Street that Dickens wrote Nicholas Nickleby and part of Oliver Twist. Barnaby Rudge also took shape there. Nowhere outside Bloomsbury will you find better examples of intact Georgian dwellings. Compare them with one of the ultra-modern buildings in the neighbourhood. But Bloomsbury is not surrendering easily to the blandishments of the builder. After all, she's in good historic company, none other than that of the British Museum, which was originated in 1753.